we are nearly done with our phase three report and so we just have to add the last little bit of data and that's going to be our conclusion and then we can get just to the final editing so let's get this conclusion done and wrap up the data for our phase three report so hopefully by now you have done your introduction you've done a discussion analysis about your research things that you've discovered while doing your research and then we did in our last video our findings we spoke about what are the trends or patterns that we picked up on and so now we're going to do our conclusion and the key thing here is it must be meaningful and logical and it must address the original problem focus in light of evidence presented the conclusion should not contain new information so those are the three main things meaningful or logical address the original focus and do not add new information so if we come to our conclusion, this is what I suggest that we look at. I found the following resource online to just tell me what are the top things you would have in a strong conclusion. And so they say restate the thesis, but you need to rephrase it. So I would go and rephrase the focus question, include it here. But when I mean by rephrase, I mean like incorporate like in as a part of the discussion. So you can maybe add a little bit, say the goal of this investigation was to find out what is this. So you just don't just put the, the focus question in like it is. Have that little rephrasing of the focus question. Summarize the key points. So this is where we'll get a bit of information from our discussion analysis. So I would have a brief sentence or two summarizing your discussion and analysis. Remember, we had different categories for it. So maybe just a little brief summary about what the background is general, what the impact is in general, and what the solution is in general from the discussion analysis. Keep it very short and brief. It's just a summary from the basic ideas. I would have a sentence or two summarizing two or three of those headings from your discussion and analysis. Now, yeah, they say address the so what factor, explain the significance of the argument, why does it matter? I think for that, I would look particularly at your findings. What did your findings find out? So discuss two of your findings, say, based on our research, we found that people are in Cape Town are more likely to do this. With regard to AR, based on our findings, we found out that people are very hesitant to use AR because of the job market, with a couple of exceptions, and then blah, 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 blah. So discuss two of your findings. You don't have to do all three. Do two of the ones that stick out. If you want to do all three, you can, but brief sentences. Remember, your conclusion is not a whole page thing. It's just a couple of paragraphs provide closure and this is particularly with relating to your focus question because the whole point of this investigation was we had a question and we want the answer to it so in here with a line or two you want to answer your focus question you want to say based on the above information we have found that people do need to use ai in the medical industry for this this and this so whatever your focus question is answer it and not just say yes it is this or no it's, because your, your focus question is probably how is this happening or what is the impact say because of this this is the impact on our professionals so answer your focus question with a line or two over here because that's how it ties it all together i must be able to read your introduction and then i must be able to read your conclusion and have a good idea of the whole journey it's a nice summary of everything that's involved i would have known what your plan was what, what you were going to do from your introduction and then your conclusion is telling me where did we end up and what was the final answer so there must be some sort of closure for your investigation so answer that question and then end with a strong statement so i would end with some sort of question about what is the implications now after you've answered that question is there another thing that we need to look at maybe there's a quote that ties in with everything so we can now see that maybe this is how we should be ending or what i particularly like is saying now that we know this if i could take this investigation to the next step for example if i could further my investigation i would go and focus more on this and something that ties into your focus question but it goes into maybe a little bit more detail so maybe you found out something from this investigation investigation and something that that someone that's reading your investigation goes like you know what i'm going to continue this investigation further by going and looking at this part so that's what i would end off it just has to be a sentence or two something strong asking what now or quotes that ties in everything or what as i said what i like is where i would take the investigation next what would be the next step if we had to go and do this further but the key thing with all of this besides that little last sentence which is actually just an insight of where you want to go to the next step all of this stuff over here particularly must be stuff that's already in your document your focus question is obviously from the original focus question the things that you're discussing from your discussion analysis must be things that you've already discussed there you can't add new things you can't add new 
findings. You're discussing the findings that you've got under your findings heading and then answer your focus question. That answer must be based on what you found out and what you researched. So don't add any new information that that's the first time that it appears here. It must tie in everything together. So if you look here, if you just have a conclusion present, you're going to get a mark. So you must not leave it out. And if you're drawing from the information, from the report, from the focus question, you're drawing information from your discussion analysis and from your findings, if you include like a summary of those aspects, you're going to get that mark. And if it's meaningful and logical, it flows, then you'll get that mark. And if it's relevant to the focus question, in other words, the best way to get the mark is to answer the focus question because that's where that's our point. Why did we ask that question? Because we want to find out the answer to it. By doing those things, you can get all four marks. The people struggle with conclusions. People also struggle with time, so they tend to leave this out. But it's not a lot of text that you have to write. You've got all the information already. Just tie it together as a nice summary and you'll get your marks for your conclusion. So go do that now and then you'll be finished with all the data. Then the only thing left after that is to go and look at the formatting and making sure that you've got all the formatting like the page numbers, the bibliography, go fill all those things in and then your report will be done. And then you can move on to your website, taking the information from this report and presenting it in a nice way via a website. So good luck with it. Finish off that report and get stuck into that website next, guys. Just a reminder, we already have the videos for the website up on our YouTube channel at Miss Long IT and Cat. Click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget about our computer terms channel for your theory. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.